I sided Dortmund's new manager with the goal to win them the Champions League. We kicked off season two by signing Madsen back from Chelsea for 50 million and Benassar from Milan for 70 million. This midfield now with Benassar in is incredible. He of course replaced the former captain Emery Chan and we have signed a very good player defensively and he can even play Cam. In fact, he scored this goal on his debut last episode. Uh, to Benassar, is he left footed, right footed, he goes down in, what a goal! Now, since the end of last season, we've had three players leave the club. Fulcrook, Sabitzer, and Mats Hummels. Therefore, we're now in a position where we need to sign a backup centre-back. We currently have Emery Chan, who, as you can see, he can play there. In fact, he gets a plus four, and he only gets a plus three at CDM. The other player we have is this young Koulibaly, who has some decent pace. But if we want to be winning that league, or the Champions League, which is the ultimate goal, we need more squad depth. So therefore, you guys put all your suggestions in the comments. I put three centre-backs on the shortlist. Two other players we've never actually used. Use, like this Euro. Is that his name? It's French. 18. He has like 86, 87 potential. He'd be incredible to sign. And the exact same for this Dio Mandy from Ivory Coast. One of the suggestions I have seen a lot is Scalvini, an exciting prospect. The Italian center back who is six foot four is currently playing at Wolverhampton. We won't be able to get any scout reports back from any of these players, by the way, because it is deadline day. So we're going to have to blindly go in there and offer a good amount of money so they don't walk out. Luckily, we have 86 million. But if you guys remember, the director of football said we can only spend a max of 70 million per player. That has uh, cost us 70 million, and we also put a 20% salon clause on that deal because we could not go over that thing. So far this season, we've played three matches. We won 1 0 against RB Leipzig and went on to lift that trophy because it was the Super Cup final. A 1 0 win to Mainz and a 1 1 draw to Bayer Leverkusen. I did point out that I don't think we're scoring enough goals. We have Malin up top this season as striker, Adiemi on the right, and Sancho on the left. You guys have pointed out that Sancho is a right winger. That's his best position, but he's right footed. And Adiemi is left footed, so that just makes this awkward. You guys did recommend we change Malin's attacking runs from getting behind to mixed attack. He does have 92 pace, but his build up play is good, and he has 89 finishing now. This guy's unbelievable. How's he not scoring loads of goals? I do say that. Last season, he did score over 20. But I think we go in and make this center back signing now. Who do we get? We have Hado, who's at Leverkusen and that would be very tough to get him out of there. One of the best sides in the league who will be competing for the title this season with us. He does have the highest potential, but some of the plays here we have never used. Scalfini we have, but Yoro and Diomendi we have not. So I'm going to try and put an offer in for this guy. 62.7 million release close. Okay, we are not paying that. If we go in with around... Oh, I don't know how much to offer. 35 million. What are they going to say to that? They don't even straight up accept it. Okay, if we go 36 million, up that by 1 million. And a 1% cl salon clause. Absolutely, that's fine. So we can negotiate this contract now. You guys were happy with this suggestion. And of course, I always like or try to sign players we have never used. Can we get this guy on a five-year contract? He only wants three. Okay, we'll meet him at four. Okay, 75k a week. He agrees to that. We've signed a center back. Here he is in the shirt. It's it's official. You can believe it now. The rumors are true. Yet some of you guys are probably still waiting for Fabizio to confirm it. He is 80 overall. We'll put a ball playing defender on him. And this guy will make the bench. We'll just take Ozcan off and put him there. Emery Chan can move up the bench. But when it comes to our rotated side, this is how it looks. It is a very strong squad. We could even get top four with this, you know. But the set back partnership is Emery Chan and Dio Mandi. Am I saying that right? But we are Group A in the Champions League. We have Mil Milan, Monaco, and Copenhagen. We never, ever get a very simple group, which I kind of like. You don't want it to be really easy. We have to be getting out of that, but it isn't the easiest. We're lucky not to be in this group with Liverpool, Juventus, and Salzburg. We have Werner Bremen here. A game with Norby Sim, but I'm going to play this. Playing a long ball over the top. Oh, that's not a great touch. Can we get that back in the box, though? Big nope. header. Oh, the save. That was easy. Here comes Brandt. This is where the goal should be. If we dink that over the top, Mala, nice touch. That defense. Wow. I can get this ball over the top. 
Jaden Sancho. How's your touch? Nice. The strength. Again, the defense. And that is the game. A nil-nil draw. What are we doing? We have a massive problem with this attack. Or maybe it's the midfield. We have the players on the bench. Maybe it's sharpness. Everyone still has zero sharpness. What is going on? Everyone at the starting 11 is all out energy, which is meant to increase their fitness, but decrease sharpness. And the absolute opposite for everybody on the bench. I swear this feature is one of the most broken things they've put into the game. Because guys, I always use this for the 11 and the bench and we have no problems. But right, here's Schalke away from home and we get a 1-0 win. Malin, again, just the 1-0. At least we win. Well, we kick off our first UCL group stage game versus AC Milan. The two highlighted men, Mike Maynum for them and Malin for us. I wonder this game, who will come out on top? Will Malin beat him in goal? That's a nice run there, Matson. Matson now a pass. To Malin turns his man nicely. The shot. Oh, come on. You have to be one of the most one-footed players to do that. Got to say, I think a lot of you guys have been right about Sancho. He hasn't been the best. Oh, no. Look at this run. Look at this run. The shot. What a save. Oh, look at this. Williams. Williams. Oh, near post. It's been coming for Milan. They get the goal. Bruno Fernandes celebrates. The captain. Again, dreadful defending. What are we doing this season? Here comes Brandt. Right at the end of this first half. Can we go in? Trailing is Jadon Sancho. Pulls it back. No, oh, he's done it again. Another chance. Giroud in the box. Oh, Sol, why are you so slow? Yeah, Joker, what are we doing? What a horrible goal to concede. So what the heck are you doing there? He's just stood there. Man, this team can suck sometimes. Unbelievable. I've got this guy on the left wing with his stinky attitude. This is where we need our top players to just switch on and change the game. What is Sol doing? What on earth is Saul doing? He may even score. Nope. Oh my goodness. Why on earth was Nicholas Saul in the box? That makes no sense. Whipped in. Schlotterbeck. Rebound. Comes out. Vega. Sancho. Nicholas Saul. To hit one. Oh, come on. We're taking him off. It is going. Literally six foot five, 72 pace. And he's shown it this game. If you guys remember, we were horrible at the start of the Champions League last campaign. Nearly got knocked out. Oh, it's 3-0. You're joking. Bruno Fernandes, this is embarrassing. This defense needs to take a look at itself. Dortmund smashed 3-0 to AC Milan. We cannot have a repeat of last season in the Champions League. We did get to the semi-final last year, so we're capable of winning and playing well. So I don't know why we're bottling big games. After the last one, we are completely rotating our center backs. Emery Chan and Dio Mandy is playing and we get a 2-0 win. Look at that. Brandt and Mallard. Now we can play our fully rotated side against Stuttgart. Same centre-back partnership and it's a 2-1 win. Giddens and Oscan with the two goals win the next round. Now we're fourth on 11 points and as you can see RB Leipzig have four points. They've had a terrible start to the season. Emery Chan can't start this game because he has an injury and Dio Mandy can't start because of fitness so Schlotterbeck and Saul start. Very yourselves is Mallon at the start of this one nice dribbling oh he's done so well to get across all them plays there can he hit it from this angle straight at the keeper Adiemi yes over the top here it is Mallon nice touch Boom! Smashes it in there, post. One now. Half an hour to play. Let's hold on to this lead. And now we can seal it with a penalty. Malin to smash it to the right-hand side. Two now. Boom. Job finished. Five minutes to go. That's the three points. Let's pick up momentum now. Well, if we get this right, we could actually make it 3-0. Look at Benassar. He can play it, Cam. You can see his pace. Can he finish it now? Benessa. Oh, it's like a striker. What a finish. 3-0. Yep, nice camera angle. Looking at their boots. Look at the impact Benessa has had this season. An average rating of 7.22. Nine appearances, two goals, one assist. Those numbers will be way up there come end of the season. Our best player so far has been Malin. Five goals, two assists. You guys have said, why don't you just change him to a striker? Center forward would take four weeks. A right wing get two weeks and a strike 12. Well, that makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? So a center forward will do the job. Now, our next game is Monaco in the Champions League. If we want to be getting out of that group, we have to be winning games like this. If we draw or lose, we will get dragged into the same situation as last season. Will Mallon be our man this game? This is a game we have to be winning. We can't be doing that. Here come Monaco now. Come on, Brandt, just slide in. 
Get in there. Oh, come on. That's not a foul. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, it's only a yellow card. I thought that was going to be a red. Oh, you're joking. You have to be joking. It's a penalty. Oh, it saved it. Get in. Now with 20 minutes to go. We have an opportunity with Makoko. Can he start off the season with a goal? Yes, he can get in. Possibly the winner. 1-0 Dortmund. His first of the season. Come on. Let's pass this well. Yes. Yes. Beautiful play. Sancho now through the gap. Look at this. Put it near post. What a tackle. But that is it. A 1-0 win. We're picking up these wins now. 3-0 versus Bochum. That is big. Sancho with a brace and Adiemi. That's good to see because Sancho this season has been pretty useless. Another three goals versus Hoffenheim. We do concede though. Malen, Vega and Sancho again. There we go. And we make it two wins in the UCL. Yes, we can. Adiemi and Malin. That now puts us second in the group. Three teams on six points. This could be a very, very close group. We're actually on a roll right now. A 2-0 win versus Wolfsburg. Run and Banasser doing it again. You're probably thinking, are you top of the league right now? Well, we're not. We're second. Bayern Munich have 27 points. We're the only two games in the league to have not lost a game in nine matches, which I'm saying is pretty good because I felt we had a very poor start. DFB Pokal now. We're going to rotate Munch and Gladbach, a strong side, and it's a 3-1 win. Giddens, he scores a lot when he plays. Adiemi and Ryson. And for your comment, it's Ryerson, not Ryson. This could be a massive moment, though. Malin has his position changed to a centre forward. Goes up by two ratings. Oh, my goodness. So we can actually now make him a centre forward. It would be interesting to see how he would play as a false knight. And then we make Sancho cut inside and maybe come short or, or get in behind. Let's say come short and Adiemi get in behind. And cut inside. Frank could run past him as well. Malin probably will score a lot of goals. This is completely changing the system. But I think we should do this. And we're actually going to get some more staff. That's another five-star attacking coach. This is the first time I've actually noticed that the attack midfield defensive goalkeeper has achieved an ideal star rating. So I've tried to move it around. Do let me know in the comments how important this actually is. We got a 2-0 win with our new system. Adiemi and Malin. So we can score. And he did score within two minutes. I think this is going to be really good. Well, Copenhagen, it's the next opponent, and we have snow on the ground. It's Julian Brandt out wide. He finds Malin. Look at that run there from Sancho. Back out to Brandt. Goes wide. Back in. Sancho, nice touch. Oh, he's missed. All over the top there. How's the touch? It's good. Malin. Oh, post in here. What a player. A new false nine centre forward. Makes it one. And now they have a penalty. He saved the last one. And there's been Penenka down the middle. Fair enough. 1-1. One, one. Really want to see how Malin works in this system. Here he is on the ball. Someone's making a run. We go over the top. Normally, it's him making that run. But now it's Malin at like a cam type position. Running the play. Here's Vega. Now Malin. He came deep to get the ball. What a save. There's Benesat. Puts that there to Malin. He is literally behind everything at the moment. Still Malin. Look at him go. Still Malin. Oh, what a goal, Malin. Like Lionel Messi. The dribbling is sublime. And the shot was great. It's 2-1 dormant. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, laid on. Laid on. Oh, you're joking. You're joking. Copenhagen have gone and got an equalizer. And that is how it ends. A 2-2 draw. You have to be kidding me. Back to the Bundesliga and we get a draw. Two draws in a row. You're joking. But we do go and win this one. 2-0. Sancho and Sancho. So a brace. But Kobel with an injury. The ambulance side. Before, this has been six days or six months. Please don't be long. The moment of truth. Just... Don't don't have a laugh here. Six weeks. Okay, I will take that. That's honestly okay. He got injured at the end of last season, and we managed to beat Barcelona with this dude in goal. Which some of you guys would say it's not that hard to beat Barcelona. Now, four games played, three teams on seven points. What a close group we have. And now we play this Monaco side that has Jared Bowen on the right hand side. Is Malin. Oh, I should have played that ball there. Look at Brandt, though. Over the top. Can you get your head on it? Maybe an overhead yeah. kick. Oh, nice save. Here they come again. Here they come again. Here they come again. Oh, you're joking. It's 1-0. What an awful goal. It's fine. It's fine. We we have to score this, by the way. We have to score this penalty. Malin. Penenkers right down the middle. You guys thought I was feeling the pressure. Or he was feeling the pressure. Nope. Penenkers it down the middle. Oh, my goodness. A late winner. Adiemi. A ball in behind there for Jaden Sancho. 
What was that? I'm telling you, man. Jaden Sancho, better be careful because we could sign someone better. I know it's all the hype and it's trendy to not like Ten Hag because of the Ronaldo situation. But there's a reason Pep sold this guy. It's a bit like Sir Alex with Pogba. In 18, he's got five goals, three assists. You know, he's going to have to step up his game else next season or, or January, which is the start of next episode. We might just sign someone else. We're still undefeated in the league, though. So are Bayern Munich. 12 games played. They're six points above us. And you've guessed it. We're playing them next. What a massive game this is. 75 red a goalkeeper in goal. Let's just try not to remember that. Malin has a false nine. Adi Emi on the right. And do you know what we're going to do? We're going to get Giddens on the left-hand side and tell him to get him behind. So this is our chance to go only three points behind them here. Look at us passing this out the back. Look at the confidence. Look at this. Oh, Malin. The little shimmy there. What a player. We've already seen he can play like Messi. Giddens making the run. Okay, that was absolutely useless. What was that? Zane whips one in. Keeper's on it. And we parries it away. It's still not gone. Go on, get this ball. Is this Upa Meccano? Look at him go. Look at him go. Upa Meccano. If he were to score that, that'd be totally embarrassing. Oh, here they are. Musiala. Ah, you're joking. You're joking. 1 0 Bayern. Can we see a better angle? There it is. I think the defender slightly blocked the keeper's view because he could have saved that. Or it's just the fact he's 75 overall. But there's still hope. We're still in it. Zane. Oh, come on, Sul. You can't let him do that to you. What are we doing? Harry Kane makes it 2-0. We're going to get slapped up by Bayern the same way we did Milan. Maybe even worse. Vega has a lot of space to come away. If we don't score from this, I'll be disappointed. Malin stay on side. He's in behind. Surely the goal back. If he bottles this, we need a new striker. Oh, he's going to place it top corner. Get the ball. Come on, let's go. This game isn't over. Fantastic composure. The pace, the dribbling and the finish. Look at that. We need to be careful here. L Leroy Zane out wide. Still got the ball. Nice save. Leroy Zane has been so good this game. Okay, nice tackle, Vega. Now we can break. Oh, look how he passed that player. Malin, can he beat the defender? Who is it? Is quick. Malin, approaching goal. Still Malin, through the gap. Malin, nope. with the finish. What a save. Manuel Neuer gets in the way. The greatest keeper of all time. And Schladerbeck goes and does that. Less than 10 minutes to go. This would be our first defeat in the league this season. Nice run from Lewis. Still Lewis. Still Lewis. Can he go all the way? Still got the ball. He needs to pick someone out. Adi Emi. This is good. Twisting, turning. Get a penalty, please. Now Brandt. Yes, Malin. Malin! Oh, what a save. Manuel Neuer. Oh, he's put up a sublime last five minutes. And that's how it ends. Our first defeat. Nine points clear by Munich top of the league. With a gap that big, we cannot be dropping points. I and mean, we do win this game. 2-0. Brandt, Malin. We're currently second in our group after five with eight points. Our final game is Milan. They smashed us 3-0. If we lose and Monaco win, then we're in the Europa League. This could go really bad. And this is at the San Siro, Nico Williams, Bruno, Kunde, Tamori, and Magnum with Tito Hernandez. What a defense. Yeah, we're going to have to turn it around. We definitely can. They're probably looking at this squad, especially our recent form, thinking they could really lose. In fact, if Monaco win and we win, Milan don't qualify. So this is crazy. We have 46 million currently in the budget, and we are three games away from that January window being open. So get your suggestions down below. Do we sign anyone? What is the Jaden Sancho? situation. We do need to speak to him. Giddens, does he start over him? Let me know in the comments. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Want another video to watch? Click this Man United full movie right here.